This is Ataturk's hat law. It was enforced on the 25th of November 1925, which banned the use of Islamic headwear and forced the use of Western hats on all public and civil servants in Turkey. Otherwise known as the Hat Revolution, it was one example of how Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the first president of Turkey, radically changed Turkish society to copy a Western secular model. All of this, according to Ataturk, was to advance the Turkish peoples to the likes of Western civilization, especially after decades of social and economic turmoil. And since Ataturk had travelled across Europe, he emphasised that Turkey must not only remove Islam from law and politics, but also from the public domain. This is what motivated Ataturk to enforce the Hat Revolution, believing that it was another step to progress and ultimately Western civilization for the Turkish nation. However, this radical reform stripped the religious expression of many Muslims, something which is ironically allowed in Western countries today. And since the Turkish criminal code stated that disagreeing with Ataturk's policies were quote, being opposed to the command of officials maintaining public order and safety, any form of opposition to the hat law was punished. For instance, in the city of Erzurum, arrests were made against Muslims who petitioned to keep their traditional winter hat rather than the newly imposed western hats. When an additional 3,000 Muslims gathered in protest across the city, for unknown reasons, the police fired on them, which killed up to 32 demonstrators. Similar protests were also made in the cities of Kayseri and Marash, which also led to mass arrests. In Riza, meanwhile, the situation got violent as some 1,000 Muslim insurgents revolted and overran the entire district against the hat law. And according to the British consulate in Turkey, it escalated to the point where the Turkish cruiser Hamidi was sent and bombarded the rioters into submission. By the end of 1925, when all of the unrest ended, Turkey organised military tribunals to punish anyone who publicly opposed the hat law. In particular, the death penalty was handed freely to Muslims ranging from critics of the law to those who demonstrated on the street. There were even situations where defendants, who were illiterate and could not defend themselves, were sentenced to death. In total, at least 57 people were executed and hundreds more were imprisoned. And although the hat law has recently been abolished, this is one of Ataturk's radical policies which westernized Turkish society. More importantly, it stripped Muslims of their ability to freely practice their faith, including what they are allowed to wear. And unfortunately, this attitude towards Islam in Turkey continued until Ataturk's death in 1938. And we can see the ramifications to this day.